operations on numbers decimal fractions look at all these fractions which of these are decimal fractions in decimal fractions the denominator has to be either 10 100 1000 10000 or some such multiple of 10 this denominator is 100 so it is a decimal fraction denominator 10 is a decimal fraction denominator 20 is not a decimal fraction denominator 1000 is a decimal fraction denominator 2 is not a decimal fraction so Three fractions are decimal fractions: nine upon hundred, two upon ten, and eighty-two upon thousand. This denominator is ten, so it is a decimal fraction. Denominator hundred is a decimal fraction. Denominator hundred is a decimal fraction. Denominator ten is a decimal fraction. Denominator fifty six is not a decimal fraction, so four fractions are decimal fractions: sixteen upon ten, eight fifty six upon hundred, ten upon hundred, and one thirty two upon ten. So let's revise one more time. What is a decimal fraction? A fraction in which the denominator is either ten, hundred, thousand, ten thousand. or some such multiple of 10 you know how to find the place value of a digit in a decimal fraction write the expanded form of the given number 48.125 is equal to 40 plus 8 plus 1 upon 10 plus 2 upon 100 plus 5 upon 1000 Seven point zero zero eight is equal to seven plus eight upon thousand. Convert to numerator denominator form. We first write this as a mixed fraction. What is the integer part? Write that. Here there are three digits after the decimal, so we write one with three zeros in the denominator. that is 1000 the numerator stays as it is write that there it is 2 and we write the final answer we can even directly just put the same denominator below the whole number like this let's add these decimal fractions 42.63 7.819 42 What is the way to add decimal fractions? The decimal points must be in a vertical line when we add or subtract. So, the first arrangement of numbers is wrong. If the decimal points are aligned, we can add the decimal fractions. In the second arrangement, the decimal points are exactly one below the other, so we can add them. and the answer is 50.449 let's subtract these decimal fractions 91.09 minus 3.532 what is the way to subtract decimal fractions the decimal points must be in a vertical line when we add or subtract so the first arrangement of numbers is wrong if the decimal points are aligned we can subtract the decimal fractions in the second arrangement the decimal points are exactly one below the other so we can subtract them and the answer is 87.567 let's revise how to multiply decimal fractions 5.635 multiplied by 3.7 is equal to Step 1 write the multiplication problem Step 2 ignore the decimal point carry out the multiplication as usual
Step 3. Count how many digits there are after the decimal point in the question. 4 digits. Step 4. Put the decimal point before those many digits in the answer. Therefore, 5.635 multiplied by 3.7 is equal to 20.8495. Four hundred and seventeen point seven five divided by fifteen. As you know, it is quite similar to regular division. So let us write it down like a regular long division problem. We proceed like regular division as well. We consider the first digit as it is less than the divisor. We take the next digit as well. This is the answer. 55.264 divided by 2.2 We must make the denominator a whole number. We can multiply the numerator and denominator by 10. Therefore, 55.264 multiplied by 10 divided by 2.2 multiplied by 10 is equal to 552.64 divided by 22. This fraction is equivalent to the original fraction. So, now we can write the division like this. 552.64 divided by 22. We know how to carry out this division. Let us do it. We start as normal division. We put the decimal point in the quotient. Division is complete. The quotient is 25.12. Write 2 1 by 4 in decimal form. 1 upon 4 is equal to 25 upon 100 is equal to 0 0.25. 2 1 fourth is equal to 2 whole 25 upon 100 is equal to 2.25. Find the vulgar form of 5.75. 5.75 is equal to 5, 75 upon 100 is equal to 5, 3 upon 4 is equal to 23 upon 4. 7.2305 divided by 2.5 is equal to 72.305 upon 25 is equal to 2.8922. Operations on numbers. Vulgar fractions. Arrange these fractions in descending order and state which will be the first one. 1 upon 2, 1 upon 3, 1 upon 4, 1 upon 5, 1 upon 6. The first one will be the biggest fraction. When numerators are same, the fraction with the biggest denominator is the smallest. What is to be added to 5 9th of 4 9th to get 1 3rd? 5 9th of 4 9th is equal to 5 upon 9 multiplied by 4 upon 9 is equal to 20 upon 81. 20 upon 81 plus x is equal to 1 upon 3. Therefore, x is equal to 1 upon 3 minus 20 upon 81 is equal to 27 minus 20 upon 81 is equal to 7 upon 81. 45 3 fourth divided by 27 3 fourth is equal to 183 upon 4 upon 111 upon 4 is equal to 183 divided by 4 divided by 111 upon 4 
is equal to 183 upon 4 multiplied by 4 upon 111, which is equal to 183 upon 111. If you like our videos, do share them and subscribe to our channel. If you want awesome quizzes, write to us. Keep watching and keep learning with Walnut.